In this lesson, we will discuss LCM, which is called least common factor and HCF, highest common factor. I will show you how to find out the LCM in HCF and what is the difference between them. Question is find the LCM in HCF of the following expression. Suppose the first expression we have 39 x7 y cube and then z. And second expression we have 9 to 1 x raised to power 5 y exponent 6 and z7. You have to find out the LCM and HCF. So first expression I will write down here. Okay, we will make the factorization of 39. Right, so it means 3, 13 times 39. And if you do not know how to make, no problem, very easy. Just write down 38, divided 3, 1 time, 3, 3 times 13, and then 13, 1 time 13. So these are the factors. 3 multiply by 13, x7, y cube, and z write down as it is. Second is 91. For these kind of questions, you should know the time tables. 91. So, 13, 7 times 91. And then write down the variables as it is. Right? Okay. First is LCM. Then I will show you what is HCM. LCM. Least common factor. Or multiplication, right? Multiplier. Whatever is common. Whatever is common between these two, write down one time, which is 13. Right? If it is common, common means which is present in both the expressions, write down one time. 3 is here, but 3 is not here, but you have to write down 3 as well. So, check mark. So, we have used this. 7 is here. We do not have 7, but you have to write down 7 in case of LCM. Right? And then here, see x5, x7 is here, x5 is here. So, x5 are common. Right? Here and here. But we have 2 extra x as well. So, write down x7. Total number of x's. Same thing for y. 3 and 3. Here is 6. But 3 are common. I can write down here. See, the first expression we have 3y. In the second expression we have 6 times y. y raised to power 6. So, these 3 are common. We will write down y cube. But still we have 3 more. So, it is y6. That is why I write down y6. Same thing. Here 1 is common. But 5 we have extra. So, total. So, in LCM you have to write down the maximum number. So, maximum is 7x, 6y and 6z. Sorry, this is 7, right? Uh, here it is 7. So, maximum is 7. This is make it 7. Now, multiply it. 13, 3 times 39 and 39, 7 times 273x, 7y, uh, 6 and then z7. This is the LCM. But if I will say HCF, HCF means which is common, only common. 13 is common, right? We will write down 13. Here 5 y x's are common, so we will write down 5 x's, 3 y and 1 z. Or simply you can say that in HCF, we have to write down the minimum, minimum number of variables. In HCF, we have to write down the maximum number of the variables. And in HCF, we have to write down only common. What is common? But in LCM, common you have to write down one time and all remaining number. One more question I will solve for you. In this way, your concept will be more clear. Suppose we have 102xy square z. And then we have second expression. 85 x square y z and third is 187 x y z square. Right, make the factorization of 102 first. If you do not know, 
do not worry write down 102 2 5 times 10 and then 2 1 time and then 3 17 times and then 17 1 time so 2 multiply by 3 2 3 times 6 and 6 17 times 102 write down x y square and z it is as it is now for 85 if you do not know how to write down make it and then 17 one time means 17 5 times 85 x square y z same for 187 you can write down 11 multiply by 17 is equal to 187 x y z square if i will say okay first i will write down hcf hcf means maximum the highest number which is common among these three so this is 17 right 17 and then x is here one two x here one x here so we will take the minimum which is common only common x square because we do not have x square here that is why we cannot take x square only one x one y and one z in hcf minimum number which is common but in lcm lcm see 17 is common write down one time here we have 2 and 3 but we do not have 2 and 3 here so write down one time as well common only one time whatever is remaining one time here 5 here 11 and here the maximum so maximum is x square and then y square and z square x square y square and z square do not count like this 1 2 3 4 we have x4 no first take how many x we can take common x x x we can take one x common right among these three so only one is left so that is y x square come to here y y y one y we can take common only one is remaining that is why it is x square same for z right and then multiply all this you will get which is equal to 5 6 1 0 x square y square and z square so this is the difference in hcf you have to write down the common only which is present in all the expressions right and the minimum number of variables but in lcm maximum number of the variables and write down common one time all remaining one time and multiply it this is lcm if you still you have any question please write down in comment section but please subscribe to my channel as well sai academy and thanks for watching